Hello, it's me again. Listen, um, I'm literally going to be on for a couple of minutes. Um, I, I, I've been getting a bit of feedback from uh, you wonderful people out there in YouTubian land that I may have been a bit harsh about the rest of the cast and just brushing them off as saying, Benedict is just stunningly good, wonderful, marvellous, incredibly fantastic actor, and the rest of them are just crap. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't what I was saying, uh, and it certainly uh, wasn't, I don't think I was put across that way. I was just basically saying, unfortunately, Benedict's a tour de force, and the rest of the cast kind of struggled with this um, sort of minstrel of mirth and genius bouncing about in front of them like a, you know, um, a sort of psychopathic chihuahua puppy. And uh, they were sort of, I think, a little bit blown back. Now, I will digress. I will apologise slightly because there is there is a few people in there who were of note. Um, and, and I'll explain why sometimes I, I didn't really um, follow what was going on. Firstly, I think the main thing for me was the ghost. The ghost of Daddy. Daddy. Oh my God, Daddy's come back. Look, he's a ghost. Um, you know, I, I'm not being funny. When Hamlet is looking for the ghost and he's being told about the ghost, um, the, the, the effects in the theatre are just... Whoa, Jesus Christ. Christ, <laughs> women in black stuff. You literally are going, oh my God, what's coming? What's coming? I'll tell you what's coming. It's an old chap in a sort of, I don't know, mouldy suit who turns up and sort of goes, oh, Hamlet, I'm sorry, sorry. your uncle uh, Claudius has poisoned me. Oh, and I'm in this hell in fire and I'm really pissed off and is there any chance oh by the way these are not the droids you are looking for it was that type of thing and i was going hang on a second he's not very scary i suppose he's not meant to be because he's got hamlet's dad so he's not going to be going hamlet ugh. but the point was um he didn't sound that pissed off now i'm sorry if i'm using a little bit of language but i'm trying to get that point across he didn't sound that naffed off that he'd been murdered and as um you know the guy who'd done it Claudius, I'm using big words here because I don't really know anything about Shakespeare, but Claudius, the uncle, is in bed with his wife and Hamlet's mother. And um, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm just, I just, I didn't seem that bothered. Um, the, the, the way the, the lines were delivered, that might have been because it was lost in the thunder. But um, yeah, I just thought, uh, you know, Benedict, he was, again, I'm sorry, Mr. Cumberbatch was stunningly good. He literally was acting, going, Oh my God, look, that's a ghost. That's my dad. Is it my dad? Is it a ghost? <laughs> As you can see, I went to Radha for 40 years. I didn't. Um, and um, I <laughs> and so it's it's kind of, you know, you're sort of going, Benedict's fantastic. Wow, he's really playing against, you know, what he's seeing, what he's understanding of fear and anger and revenge. And he must get Claudius. He must deal with this. Leave his mum alone. Kill everybody else. <laughs> get revenge. Uh, but I didn't buy it from the ghost. That was the problem, which I think was pivotal. You have to basically A, B, oh, um, and, and B, the guy has to be at least naffed off or sound naffed off that um, he's in the position he's in because he's a ghost. Um, it was a bit like, uh, yeah, it's a bit like Bob Marley in, in uh, Bob Marley. I think you'll find he was a Jamaican rock star. Um, it was the uh, the ghost of Marley in um, Scrooge. Um, it was a bit like that. And I thought, hmm. Um, Kieran Hines. Kieran Hines, who plays Claudius' uncle, sleeping with mum, killy dad type person. Um, he is, I'm a massive fan of him. I really am. He's done some brilliant stuff uh, throughout the years. Um, probably mostly well known now for playing uh, Mance Raider in Game of Thrones. That's the uh, if you if haven't seen Game of Thrones, basically there's a character called Jon Snow. Mance Raider is a wildling, has long flowing red hair, uh, runs about with bow and arrow, and uh, makes passionate love to Jon Snow. Oh no, hang on a second. No, that's a girl. Mance Raider is a big butch bloke who's actually in charge of the wildlings and um, it plays a just wonderful, wonderful actor. Um, or does he make love to Jon Snow in a cave? I don't know. <laughs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. You know nothing. I think that's what he says. But maybe you could correct me. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, so he plays Man's Raider um, in Game of Thrones, and he also was Daniel Radcliffe's friend in The Women in Black. Both brilliant performances. I think the difficulty with this one is, um, uh, Kieran's probably been, uh, Syrian, has probably been um, used to uh, blowing people out of the park with his performances, and unfortunately, Benedict appears and just goes, ha ha! And, and the next thing we know is um, uh, he's just hit by a, a mist of uh, Machiavellian, wonderful acting with a little bit of Rickman-esque in there and a bit of uh, Benedict. And he's probably blown a little bit out of the park and he's probably just going, hang on a second, I'm normally the fantastic one. And he, I don't know whether his confidence was knocked, but for me, he didn't really deliver as much as I would, I would, have, I would have thought he could have. Okay. Um, maybe he had an upset stomach that night. Who knows? It happens to us all. Um, and the other thing is, um, in amongst, there's there's a big scene where um, they're chasing down Hamlet for um, killing um, the the uh, the father of uh, his love interest, no, not love interest, but the people are trying to get him to be his love interest, which is Ophelia. And uh, Dad, Polonius, who's a bit of a bumbling fool, um, if you go back to the movie uh, Macbeth with uh, Macbeth with Hamlet with uh, Mel Gibson, it's played by Ian Holm, who is um, who is you care so much about the character uh, because Ian Holm brings to it a sort of a dithering, lovely uh, thing. So when when Bilbo Baggins gets done, you're just literally going, Bilbo, no, Bilbo, Jesus, Bilbo, and there's no more. How is it going to be a hobbit? There's no Frodo. Um, and you sort of go, oh, Bilbo's dead. <laughs> and I can understand why Ophelia comes out, looks at Bilbo, and thinks, oh, no, Bilbo's gone, and gets very upset, and then Hamlet disappears. And But that didn't come across, because the actor, for me, didn't, I didn't establish um, a thing with the audience that would basically say, I'm Bill Bill Baggins, please care about me. It didn't happen for me. So when Hamlet um, does the deed by accident, um, I don't really care. And then when everybody's running around going, we must find Hamlet, he's killed Bill Bill Baggins, um, the, that um, at that point in the corner, I think out of just over there, you've got Ophelia finding his blood on the floor and going, "Oh my God, Bilbo! There's no how are we going to kill Smaug? Oh, I know we use Frodo because they're not actually related." And there you go. So it was lost for those characters because slightly of that scenario. But again, Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm afraid he was genius, and it's worth seeing just for the production, just for uh, Benedict, and for the others as well, because if uh, Benedict wasn't there, it still is a marvellous production. It's just not quite on fire, uh, and that's the whole point I was making. So I, um, I really apologise if I um, upset a few people who, said, who saw it and said, no, no, no. other people were wonderful. Um, other people were wonderful. They just weren't as good as Benedict. So, anyway, um, I know you cumbery people out there. Uh, this is the uh, the program, um, and it's really actually all the, they, they sell at the Barbican, because I was there going, my God, this is a good chance I should go in there, and I shall buy myself a full Sherlock costume, uh, T-shirts, uh, socks, uh, shoes, and I shall walk out, and everybody will think I'm wonderful, when in fact all they were selling was this. So, um... Um, it is, as I say, lovely, lovely pictures, um, and uh, and probably you've seen most of these pictures on the net anyway, uh, because people put them out there, um, and um, you know it's it's pretty pretty damn funky. Um, there's Benedict. Yeah, it's 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 um it's it's brilliant. So, um, oh, and I'm I'm really I'm really ignoring my audience here. They're just I'm like as I'm back in there. I'm going wow, it's fantastic. Actually, it was brilliant. I don't know what I'm talking about. There you go. So anyway, enjoy. If you can get to see it on National uh, Theatre Live, I think they're doing uh, cinema productions all over the world. Um, check that out online and um, see if you can. Uh, because obviously, if you're in uh, Papua New Guinea, this might be you looking at me just going, "How dare you? I'm never going to see this in my life." 
Um, but you might do if you can get to the, the cinema and, and see it. And they do wonderful productions on that concept. So please go and see it. I think I'll go for a walk now because my brain is just very, very small. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye.